Good morning, folks. Latest from the CIOC here with an image out of Kilder Observatory. Words from the campaign. I saw definitely not fizzled, but still not getting bright enough yet for visual speculations to come true. Of course, there's still the meteor shower to come, which is my top concern with ISON, even above induced field instability in the corona upon perihelion. Quick rundown of last night's articles, discussed heavily already in the private forum. First is the earthquake hotspot, an ancient mantle plume that is trekking across the globe at geologic speeds, currently in the North Atlantic. Starwater students, magnetic jets of supercharged particles are the genesis of planetary nebulae. They can't find any of those without H2O, hydroxyls, and the full JPL Genesis mission elemental spectrum of the solar wind. Star water. Last but not least, I'd love to drop the architect's line about the anomaly revealed as both beginning and end, but diligence on this Mail Online article is taking a bit longer than expected. I'd love some help from you guys today to vet this. Between the remnants of Tropical Storm Manuel, new development, and the fading Ingrid. It's a rough day for large swaths of Mexico and their tracks suggest the same is going to be true for a few days. Except of course for Umberto, doing his dude where's my car impression, apparently he thinks Santa took it. South China Sea has spawned another monster, that's not a hyperbole, look at him, heading right for Taiwan and China. Last weather note is a tremendous temperature shift in the US and especially up into Canada, high pressure cell is regulating that clockwise motion. Heading back to Sinabung, where the evacuation now atop 6,000 people. The number at PNG is 8,000, except that's the height of a single violent exhale, signaling Bagana's awakening. Folks, the solar wind is becoming slightly unstable. There's not yet any geomagnetic disturbance, but the electron flux is so sensitive it confirms the change from ambient quiet, even if only minor. The real story right now is in the solar flares. No, we're still not anywhere near where we should be, but signs of life on the GOES X-ray flux are coming from an incoming active region on the south. When we showed it last night, we couldn't see any of this large cresting spot. Doth mine eyes deceive me? Can we get a magnetic confirmation? Oh yeah, finally a worthy contender. Welcome to the Earth-facing disc, big guy. Good luck. And given what you just saw, it seems like Mercury down there needs a proximity warning, so I've given it one. The asterisk is because the experts obviously disagree with that analysis and give no warning for Mercury. Coronal hole power is increasing, especially on the backside. We have our next coronal hole still heading towards center disk up north. Folks, the biggest quakes of the last day have been confined to Europe and here where it meets far western Asia. They are missing about 20 aftershocks in Greece as well. Overall watch is back on the rise as coronal holes are complemented by a coming full moon to match Venus conjoining Saturn in the evening sky. Eyes open. No fear, it's 6.45 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.